American chain uh, sort of pseudo Italian restaurant. Uh, I never eaten here before. It's called the Spaghetti Factory. Ah. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. And I, I know this place is uh, indigenous to San Francisco. I don't, I don't think we had them down in Los Angeles. I think there was one in Emeryville down there. I used to live there uh, about 20 years ago. I remember. And they closed pretty early. They, I think they closed tonight at 9. Yeah, but we're already here, so not, not going to chase us Well, out. look what happened at McDonald's. Well, the McDonald's is not exactly a classic. Well, this isn't a classic joint either, but McDonald's is definitely the bottom, is of, real nice. bottom of the barrel. So you don't expect, like, you know, a stellar customer well, service. Of, we were uh, these, man. You know, we were having a lovely dinner at McDonald's just a few nights ago, and um, I had another fish sandwich to eat. You know, I had my Coke. And the lady come by, can't, comes by, it's 11 o'clock at night, or she said, it's what, two minutes till 11, yeah. or two minutes till 11, and it's like, we have to get out, so. Well, I saw the, that one time when, when you were supposed to be taking a shower, and you, anyway, that's a different story, but, and I was, I was, I was killing time at McDonald's, uh, the manager, I guess, had something to do uh, at, after 10 o'clock, and decided to close the place an hour early, and I got kicked out onto the friggin' street, hour sooner than I thought I couldn't come home yet because it was too early. And so. You had to sit at the bus bench and kill time. That's sad. I'll do a pan. But but see, I think um, they're they're open. McDonald's the drive through right? It's open very. It's either open 24 yeah, hours a day. Yeah, that's why I don't understand why they got to kick you out like that. Because not they're closing. They're not gonna yeah, close. it's open either very very late or it's open 24 hours a day. The drive through right? So why did we get kicked out of the dining room? at McDonald's come 11 o'clock sharp. Okay, I mean, I'm sure they probably reduced the staff, but I mean, it's not that big of a dozen. Jeez. Would have been nice if they would have just locked the doors, but let us uh, stay and finish eating. That's what they do sometimes, but not, not then. So I'm wondering, is this what this maybe restaurant they, Maybe does? they have some problems with like street people trying to like come in there and spend the night or something like that. Well, what they can do though is lock the door so you can't open it from the outside though, and then and then you can exit though. You know, have it just open one way. So that was that was kind of a bummer. Yeah, well. But it was still fun. I just took I just took my drink home and my fish sandwich home and ate it there. Yeah. That's good though, because I don't want to get my two hundred million dollars. I won't have to put up with that nonsense anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You'll eat at the Ritz. Hey, if I want to stay late at McDonald's, I'm sure if I slip them up a thousand fucking dollars, they're not going to complain about me staying there next shower. in here. Uh, earlier at home he was listening to That's Amore. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Amore. And I also to that other dumb song, Papa Loves Mambo. And they yeah. were saying like, oh that's not, that's not um, Dean Martin, that's Perry Como. And it's like, so I listened to the other song because I knew that was Dean Martin to compare the voices. It sounds like Dean Martin to me, so I don't know what people are talking about. Of course you get a lot of like Idiots on YouTube, okay? That's why it's 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 real riffraff there on YouTube. Anyway. You always get into it with some idiot there. Yeah? Thank you. Oh, that looks good. Thank you. All right, we got some kind of dip here that Karen got, and with toast. And uh, I guess we're gonna what artichoke shrimp and. 
I don't know what else is in there. Maybe a little spinach. I forgot. I have to look at the menu. I have the menu right next to me. Um, so, he was giggling earlier. And I'm like, what's so funny? He kept giggling and giggling and giggling. I think I finally found out what it was. Maybe he'll tell you. Okay, this is the shrimp. I have the, the menu open. Watch. I'll show the menu. Um, it's, it's shrimp, spinach, and artichoke dip. Yummy. Now, the root encounter, but you let them have it. Now you can, you can say, oh, by the way, in one of those songs, it might have been That's Amore, it sounded like Jerry Lewis was doing his, his, yeah, his I, funny, I, I hate his hey lady I voice. Hate and, uh, so oh, you don't like that movie, Who's Minding the Store? He's so annoying. And... And so, um, anyway, um, he's like, he's, he's like he didn't like, like being annoying. So how can anybody find that entertaining? I don't get it. I don't think he cared for the Jerry Lewis-like voice, or it was him, or like him. I, okay, now what is the thing? When we were, when, when he he held held the door, you right here, my friend here, he held the door open for me here at the at the restaurant, so I could walk in. And he's holding the door open. And these people are exiting, right? And he's holding, so he ends up holding, uh, holding the door open for them as they exit. And they didn't even say, "Oh, thank you." He goes, "You're welcome." <laughs> yeah. They didn't say anything. He's all, "You're welcome." Oh, they, I wonder, laughed. they laughed after that, like embarrassed laughter. But, yeah. <laughs> so they heard you. Yeah. Really? Whoa. I just let him play candy store in the bookstore next door. And, and I played can I played candy store too. Have such a great selection tonight. I got a lot I liked. Well, you're lucky. And a la the nice lady, one was in kind of in poor condition, one of the books, and um, she knocked a few dollars or whatever amount of money she knocked off the book, which is great. One of the ones I wanted, mm -hmm. and the rest are in good condition. And I, I played candy store too, and I got a bunch of books. He got we got what over eighty dollars worth of books, and he wanted more. Oh boy, it's fast. <laughs> wow, fast. Thank you. I'm jealous. Mine did not come with tomato. Oh. Yeah. What kind of salad did you get? The house salad? Yeah, I had my choice of soup, which is minestrone or um, salad, so I picked salad. But I didn't know. See, I knew his would not come. It, he ordered a Caesar salad. She called it Caesar salad upgrade. And Caesar salad does not come with tomatoes. I said, Do you want tomatoes on your salad? I thought you said it sounds tempting, so we went ahead and got him tomatoes on his salad. I thought mine would come with, with tomatoes. It does not. So, there's my size of honey mustard and more blue cheese dressing. We got cola. And <laughs> just going to stuff ourselves. We won't even have room for the main course. I'm getting crab stuffed ravioli. You're getting what chicken parmesan? Mm -hmm. No. What's your main your main course is chicken parmesan? So I guess I'll put the camera away and start eating. You know I like eggplant parmesan, but well, I can't get that chicken parmesan for you. They didn't have eggplant? No. Did you ask her? Maybe you missed it. It was maybe it's on the menu, but you missed it. That's okay. Uh -huh. I, I what I gotta do is I make my own. I can make my own. See you next video, guys. Check it out. Bye. Bye.